In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up a UDIM project. So here I'm going to go to File and choose New. This opens up the New Project dialog. You can see that I'm using PPR Metallic Roughness. And here for the file, I'm going to load my mesh file. Here I'll click Open. And for the document resolution, we're going to set this to a default 2048 value. Now, here you'll notice that we have a new section for UV tile settings. And we have the Use UV Tile Workflow enabled. Now with this workflow, we have two options. Preserve UV tile layout per material and enable painting across tiles is the new option. We also have this legacy option which will convert UV tiles into individual texture sets that was found in previous versions of Substance Painter. Okay, so with this set up, all I need to do now is click OK to create my project. So now I have my 3D model loaded here in my project and if we take a look here at my texture set list, you'll notice that we have a body, a cornea, and an iris. These are the three materials associated with this mesh file. Now, each one of these materials has a set of UV tiles. And you'll notice here for the body, we have a set of four tiles. In this particular layout, we're using a two by two grid. So here we have the first tile, which is 1001, 1002, and then we have 1011 and 1012. So just as with previous versions of Substance Painter, you're still able to work with your texture set list, which shows a list of the materials associated with the mesh. So with the body selected, if I come over here to my texture set settings, I'm able to change the resolution. I started with 2048 as the default, and you can see that set here. I can change this resolution if I like, similar to previous versions of Substance Painter. We can think of this as a global setting. So for example, changing the body resolution would also affect the UV tiles associated with that body material. However, I can override this resolution. So let's take a look at this 1001 tile. And that is the tile here that represents the main body. And let's say that we want this to be a bit higher resolution. Well, with the tile selected, I can come over here to my texture set settings. And now I have an option here to just change the resolution. You can see again, it's set to 2048, which was that default setting. And I can see here that it's not being overridden as it's set to default. Here I click my drop down, and I could set this to say something like 4096. So now I know that this particular tile, 1001, is set to work with 4K. I can also see that resolution set here in the lower left-hand corner. As you can see, creating a UDIM project in Substance Painter is straightforward and you're able to work with the existing texture set and texture set settings you've been accustomed to. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.